How you doing ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm going to take you for a quick ride in our brand new 2019 Chevrolet Bolt. Uh, that is right, my wife and I did lease a 2019 Chevrolet Bolt uh, just in the last week of September, last couple days of September. And uh, this is the first time I got really a chance to make a video about it because the weather's been kind of gray and gloomy. But uh, check it out now, we got a bunch of fall colors on our trees which will make for some nice scenery as we talk about. Uh, what made us choose the Chevrolet Bolt. Now a little backstory for you, this is not our first electric vehicle. In uh, November of 2016, we did in fact lease a 2017 Volt. Now the Volt, in my opinion, smartest car ever, ever designed, ever built. You know, you can do 55 miles of range on a single charge, then you have a gas engine that you can use to put fuel in and drive it with no range anxiety. You know, so for the average driver, uh, you know, your daily drives are all electric if you're under 50 miles and you plug it in at night, you wake up in the morning and you just kind of start and do it again. The car has been uh, really a, a hit in our family. We absolutely love it. Uh, we love it so much that in 2018, about a year ago, when I decided that it was time to sell my 2012 Wrangler, we actually purchased a second Chevy Volt. Uh, this one is a 2018. Uh, we did it just in time to take advantage of the 7,500 tax credit. There was a bunch of rebates. I have employee pricing. And uh, the plan was I'm gonna drive that car until her lease is up, which is basically now, at which point she'll take over that Volt because she loves it so much. And I'll go out and I'll get to myself another type of vehicle. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know I am a car enthusiast. I've had a couple Corvettes. I've modded out the Jeep. I've had a classic car. You know, I, there's one thing I'm not afraid to spend money on, and it's cars. It's like, it's my thing. So the idea of me being able to kind of pick whatever I want, whether it be a Camaro, whether it be, uh, you know, maybe a, a ZR2 Colorado, maybe a Trail Boss Silverado, you know, maybe another Jeep Wrangler. You know, like the possibilities for me are endless. But what ended up happening in that year that I drove the Volt was I absolutely fell in love with the car. You know, driving an electric vehicle, if you haven't done it yet, it is awesome. You know, it's smooth, it's quiet, uh, the, the torque is instant, so you can just hit the throttle like I'm doing now and just accelerate, you know, with, with ease. It's just really a really great, fun, uh, enjoyable experience. So if you haven't driven one, I suggest you check out your local dealer and go check out a Bolt and take one for a spin. Back to the story, as I've been thinking about what I want, I got so used to not spending on gas, I got so used to the way the car drove, that I started thinking, well, maybe rather than me getting something, let's just let my wife pick out what she wants. And she loves electric vehicles, she loves the idea of it, and it being for the environment and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, for her, it was a no-brainer. And at the end of September, we started selling a lot of our bolts we had left, because the 3750 uh, federal tax credit was ending. So people were taking advantage of it. And you know what? I decided to do the same. So we decided to go with an electric. I did look at Tesla, you know, the Model 3. Unfortunately, the Model 3, you know, their price is their price. And to lease a Model 3, a $40,000 Model 3, it would take about $3,500 down. And I think the payments were about $450 a month. So, and you had no option to buy the car at the end. So to me, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, I work for Chevy, I get employee pricing, I have perks for working for the dealership, I qualified for over $10,000 in rebates. You know, it just made all the sense in the world for me to go with the Bolt. Uh, you know, which is funny because at first, I really didn't care for the styling of the Bolt when it came out, but uh, it completely grew on me. I've already modded out a couple quick things, which we'll do that in a future video. I'll show you what I did to change it already. And uh, you know, now I'm falling for it. Like, I love it. I love driving it. I think it's fantastic. I really can't wait to see what else General Motors comes up with. I mean, the days when we start seeing performance sports cars and electric, it's gonna knock your guys' socks off. You're absolutely gonna love it. Now for us, we decided to lease the vehicle. Uh, it made sense uh, to, to be able to pay a payment, not come up with anything out of pocket. You know, it's gonna cost me about eh, 12,000, a little over $12,000 over the course of three years uh, to drive basically a $44,000 loaded up Bolt Premier uh, up to 45,000 miles. So, you know, it, very inexpensive in my opinion. In three years, when this car goes back, the technology is probably gonna be so much more advanced with EV cars, who knows what will be available to us at that time. So it just protects us that I don't have to worry about resale, I don't have to worry about uh, battery degradation, I don't have to worry about anything. You know, basically I just drive it for 45,000 miles and go back, hand the keys, and start all over again with something different. Uh, again, who knows where we'll be 
in about three years. So that's basically the story. That's why we leased the Bolt. I am super excited to put a bunch of content uh, out there about this vehicle. So if you are interested in the Bolt, uh, look for a playlist that'll be coming up and subscribe to the channel and all that sort of stuff. Because now that I have access to one of these vehicles all the time, I'm gonna be making content, you know, really as much as I can. And as I learn about the vehicle even more, uh, you know, from ownership than I already know about uh, selling them, you know, I wanna be able to share that information with you. Even for things like uh, road trips, in about two weeks, we're going to Washington DC and I'm taking the Bolt. So like, I'm gonna drive it. It's 230, I think it's 232 miles door to door from where we are leaving uh, to our hotel when we get there. Uh, the car is supposedly can do 238. So like the plan is let's make a video, can we make it? So if that sort of stuff excites you, Hit the subscribe button uh, for now. I'm gonna end this video with just some uh, some footage of the vehicle itself. Uh, any questions, perfect place to put them, as you know, in the comments. With that, guys, have a great day. Enjoy.